Hello, it's Peter Rossthorn, and I'm in the third and final step of a case study I've created for issuing badges from a Wikiversity course. In the previous two screencasts, I described the scenario of, of issuing the badge to the Wikiversity course based on a milestone that was completed within the course. Um, I also sort of went through the technical side of everything, where we looked at the looked at the uh, changes to the JSON file, uh, what was required uh, in creating a hash um, so that we could embed that in the JSON file, sort of changes that needed to be made to the JSON file, and then I discussed the uploading of the JSON file to the, the website or to the server that's going to be issuing the badge. So what we ended up here is, is this was the request that the, the earner had made to earn the badge, uh, I made changes to this particular uh, JSON file so that uh, it was ready um, to issue the badge. And then I also took a look at the, um, the web page that was put together to, not to create the hashed value. But also what was in the particular web page is the code to actually claim the badge. Uh, just take a look at this. Um, and we can view the source code um, and as you can see here uh, it, this particular st string or this particular piece of HTML um, will provide us what we need here so here's the same as HTML uh, the main point here is, is that it makes reference to this particular uh, JSON file which is this particular JSON file um, and we'll turn around and um, issue the badge. Um, where did that go? So what we're looking at is this particular uh, JSON file that is embedded in this call to the Open Badges infrastructure. So here we have the JavaScript call. Uh, to the open badges infrastructure which is referenced in this particular script source coding here so it's making a an reference to the issuer JS and that allows us to make this API call with this particular parameter attached to that uh, API call and uh, just by clicking on this link here so when I look at that as a web page here it is so to claim my badge I just click that particular link and it will take me to the Mozilla Open Badge Backpack and it's t sub prompted me to say I'm about to submit one badge to the backpack you need to log in first uh, so if you don't already have a Open Badges account you can see here that it's seeing that I've logged in before with Persona uh, it's this particular email address that the badge was issued for so I need to log into the open badges backpack with that particular email address I log in um, and then it's going to prompt me as you can see here ah here we go Peter um, there's the correct email address is sort of going through it accept this badge so yes I want to accept the badge and it's now added one badge to my backpack uh, and now if I want to go and look at the backpack I can do that and as you can see here is the badge that was issued uh, here's the issuer, which is me, uh, particular for the for from this particular lo location. The recipient, and here's their their encrypted string because don't have emails public for others. Uh, and here is the evidence, the website that they put up to have issued the badge. So that is how somebody is going to be issued a badge. You can disown the badge at this time if you want to, um, and then you'd have to go and reissue it to yourself. But that is possible to be done. Uh, so there you have it, the, uh, the claiming of a badge, uh, the creation of the files to issue the badge, and uh, the very first screencast I talked about the scenario that uh, created the badge. So feel free to experiment and step through these three screencasts slowly and stop in different places if you so require, um, and have the ability to issue a badge and feel free to jump in and ask questions or go to uh, the Google group or any of those other places if you require assistance. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed this more for the case study approach to looking at badges. Um, I will be creating other ones with different kinds of scenarios of how badges can be issued. Have a very good day.